Hello everybody, this is from Tertiary Courses and this module is about exponential smoothing with time series in R. So, what exactly is smoothing? As you can see, smoothing is basically a forecasting method for univariate time series. This produces forecasts where the weights are more towards the more recent uh, time series components. Another, okay, uh, exponential smoothing is basically used to smoothen out the data to get rid of irregularities or noise in the data so you can clearly see the patterns in the data. And once we remove the irregularity and noise data, we can then model the trends in seasonality. All right, so let's move on down to our air passenger data set as we've done before. Okay, so we, as you can see here, we have an air passenger data set as in previous uh, sessions. Again, we're going to uh, look at the time series. And as before, we're going to split our data set into two parts, a train data set and a test data set. Okay. So let's try the first type of smoothing, which is smooth exponential smoothing. So it's a basically an additive model with a constant level and doesn't take seasonality into account. All right, it's used usually for short-term forecasts and estimating the level at the current time point. So once you know the current time point and a few trends, you can more or less model a quick short-term forecast using exponential smoothing. So let's try this. To put the configuration for SES, you need to set beta is false and gamma is false. We're using the and we still use the halt with the command. Okay, as you can see here, the data is here. We're gonna plot the, the smoothing series, which is the raw data here. All right, so now we're gonna put in the model itself, the how the model fits on the, the, the same data set, the train data set. Now we're gonna produce the I'm going to predict ahead 11, 11 time points ahead. I'm going to plot that. What the model has predicted 11 points ahead, as you can see here in blue. Okay. So now we're going to compare what the model has predicted with the test data set, which is the actual data for the, the next 11 time points. Okay. As you can see here, the data shows the R square is very poor and the RMS is very high. So for the next exponential smoothing, we have halt exponential smoothing. Okay, estimate the level and slope at the point of time. Okay, there are two parameters being involved here. So one of them uh, estimates the level at the current point of time and the slope of the trend. All right, so let's move on. So we're gonna in order to set the halt winter halt exponential smoothing, we need to set only gamma is false. Okay, so we set it here. We have the parameters here. Plot again the raw data set and we're going to plot how it how it fits onto the uh, the train data set and we're going to plot ahead 11 times series points as before and color it blue as you can see here it could not has not needed a direction but the trend as well rmse and the r square is all calculated as before and if we compare the r square is still very bad very poor but the rmse is lower than before previously was 107 it has now dropped to 87 the last one we're going to try today is auto arima as we've done this before in previous lessons auto arima is auto regressive integrated moving average model which includes all all the irregular components takes into consideration regular components of time series seasonality trend is all included in this particular time modeling all right we're going to do it again run the code plot the raw data set plot ahead how it fits into the train data set give the prediction and this is what the auto rima predicts the next train will be as you can see it takes you the direction the trend and the seasonality as well as we plot the rmse and the r square as you can see from here it's not bad the r is dropped from 87 to 22 and the r square is pretty high 91. now let's do a very quick comparison with three methods Okay, you can see how they correlate together. As you can see, the correlate, the way they correlate is a bit high, as you can see, around 90 range. We can obviously display it in a core plot fashion. All right. So now we're going to plot the each model on on uh, the same axis. As you can see here, this is the NCS model, the Holt winter, and the auto Riemann model over here. So let's compare the matrix together. They have a big picture is going on. And as you can see, the matrix here, Autorima has the lowest RMSC and a very good R-square. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much. This has been from Tertiary Courses. Hope you have a nice day.